against anybody. Without a doubt. These guys, two of the best crews in the game, EMB. Franchise has been in EMB for like 10 years now. You know, he's super close with guys like Joke, Evil O, uh, VY. So he's going to be very prepared. But the question of the game is, does Franchise have enough on offense? Because that's been his downfall ever since I've known Franchise. He is really good on defense. But his offense is what's held him back. But like I said earlier, I heard through the grapevine rumors are that Franchise has some glitchy or unique stuff that he's pulling out on offense. But we're going to see Ice here with the ball first. He's, he's like I said, he's in that Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. He is one of the most prolific gun bunch players in the community. As you see, the audibles getting set up, the formation subs. And here, Madden 21 TD, those formation subs, especially important as the offensive flexibility, it's it's as good as it's ever been. Yeah, it's amazing. It's one of my favorite features added to Madden 21. You're going to see Ice. He's going to sub in a running back at receiver occasionally. He can also sub in a tight end, which you see a lot of guys do at the receiver spot to, to be able to audible down to two tight end sets like single back wing stack or things like I form close. So look for him to mix it up in his gun bunch. First down and 10 for Ice. Rolling out right side. Culpepper, he'll slide down at the 30-yard line. Good start. Picking up five on first down. Easy read with the scramble. Yeah, nice scramble. And I think it's cool to point out, Nick, from big difference from last year. We don't see though that escape artist dashing dead eye abilities like we did last year. Everyone just uses that gunslinger. And Culpepper, Josh Allen, they do have some decent speed. So if you need to roll out, you can get five yards, which you saw Ice just do. Paul Pepper on second and five. Come Take on, a shot it. over the top. There Get goes Gary Terry. 15 10 five yard line. A laser beam for the two time champ. Two plays in, and Ice is already fired up. A super laser over the top. Terry McLaurin, all that speed. Man, he's been a difference maker for everyone. One of the best cards you can get on your Mutt roster. And you can already see the emotional, the fired up, don't care about Ice. He doesn't care who knows it. He is fired up to win this club back. Hand off to Bush. Get in there, big He'll boy. get down to the two-yard line. And Nick, when we talked to Ice the other night, didn't he seem just so motivated? He even told us he feels a little disrespected by the community. You know, he's made some runs in some online tournaments this year. He feels like people kind of overlook him. They don't think that he's a top player in the community. But so far on this first drive, he looks phenomenal. You see that Jets champion banner next to Ice. We go down. The goal line set, three tight ends. Fullback dive, not there. Are we going to see a fullback dive touchdown today, TD? <laughs> well, you, we just saw Stevie with that fullback dive defense, and he happens to be in the same crew as Franchise, both repping that EMB. So I don't know if it's young Tony over there who, who's helping them cook up this fullback dive defense, but, man, it looks really good. And now, you know, this, this is the difference in the game, these field goals compared to touchdowns in the red zone. Third and goal. How about a little, Get in there. A little fake Come on. sweep and Dante Culpepper fights to the end zone. First touchdown on, of the Dante. board to the two Come touch. On, a little QB power in the red zone. That might be why you put Dante Culpepper on your team. He's about 6'4", 250. I don't know if a guy like Brett Favre is doing that type of thing in the red zone. So great first drive right there by Ice. 7 nothing. Ice on the board first. What a drive. We saw some of the run game. We saw a big pass play. We saw what makes Ice so tough oh. to stop that balanced stop. offense. Yeah, he's easy. so good on offense. His gun bunch easily goes down the field. I mean, second play of the game, he's going over the top to Terry McLaurin. But, Nick, here's the story of the game to me because I do think Franchise eventually will figure out Ice on offense. He might be able to get some stops. But Franchise, does he have enough? on offense as you take a look at this replay just a huge just a streak it's all it is a streak to the outside mclaurin a busted zone coverage right there and gets that big play on, down God. to the four Come yard on. line he's able to punch get it get out in. of there get out of there go it is tough Let's to go. stop that man from dc terry mclaurin with the wheels so yeah franchise in this spread or pass balance offense whatever you want to call it that playbook it's it's all shotgun so you're not going to see any under center there's about 20 or so shotgun formations in here 
And I'm interested to see what he's got cooked up because I do heard he has some good stuff. But the, like I said, the thing with Franchise, he's never been able to pass that good. So I think down the stretch here, he's going to be able to need to do that. We saw Stevie. That was kind of the story for Stevie. And he kind of struggled at the end when he needed to pass. So is Ooh. Franchise going to be able to figure that Hot out? Hot in here. Ice, Ice already sweating. We're, we're less than two minutes into the game. Ice is already complaining about the heat. <laughs> Ice has really good personality too. I don't know if a lot of people know that about him. My guy George, he's hilarious if you ever talk to him. But Franchise looks super locked in. I, we haven't heard one peep out of Franchise yet. He's got the gaming uh, glasses on there. He's ready to go. And here we go. First drive for the savvy veteran. First and 10 for Franchise. EMB zone. First time on offense. A little RPO action, a little smoke Ooh. screen, and there goes that man one more time. Terry McLaurin down the sidelines to the 32-yard line, 43 yards on the first play from scrimmage for Franchise. Yeah, and I said, you know, I feel confident if he doesn't catch me off guard, Franchise with a little screen right there. Does he know something that we don't know? It might be something he cooked up there with that screen. We'll have to see if he goes to that more, but off, I expect yeah. to see a very diverse, unique offense here and a big first play right there. Is that some of the uh, the unique dots that they were talking about franchise dialing up? First and 10, handoff to Bush. This this time goes to the handoff. All right, first play 43 yards, second play one yard. Varying levels of success. Yeah, if you're a fan of spread offense, college football offense, then franchise offense is what you would like to see. It's kind of like that Chip Kelly offense that we see back in the day from Oregon. That's what Franchise is going to be in here. He's going to be in all these shotguns, audible and around, really making it difficult for Ice to see what's happening. Staying out of 10. Come on. Hand off to Bush. Good defense on the outside uh -oh, by Ice. Pass. <laughs> yeah, third and 11 already. Ice looking good right there. You know, Franchise mixing up his play calls, but he's going to have to go to the air here, third and 11. And I, I don't think Ice is prepared for this type of offense. So I expect him to stay, stay in that nickel defense, though, see what Franchise has. Third and 11. Dante Culpepper. In the shotgun, he'll drop back to pass. Three man rush from Ice. Mine, come right here. Side. That's come here. Cross. When he has to and pass, Taylor it gets Mays scared. going the other when he way has for to pass, Ice. It gets it's scared. Taylor Mays come in on. open space. It's Taylor Mays driving off into the sunset. It's don't care about Ice putting a defensive touchdown on the board. Taylor Mays, the playmaker of the game. What a user pick right there by Ice, and he takes it to the house. And this is what we talked about with Franchise. When he needs to pass, does he have something? And so far, he doesn't. That's Woo! been the thing in Franchise's Madden career is that he's not able to pass when he needs to. And you heard Ice say it. Ice said when he needs to pass, he struggles. And that was the case right there. Former Bengal, former Raider. How crazy is it, Tyler Davis, that a man who had zero, count him, zero right. career interceptions in the league, he's one of the best in the game of Madden, going the other way for ice. Absolute stud, 6'4", all that speed, great user pick, kind of a bad read by the franchise, and he's he taken to, to the pass, house and he's fired scary. up. When he has to pass, it gets scary. Come on. Think Ice is uh, feeling the heat now? Think it's getting sweaty <laughs> in that room? Ice is fired up. Hand off to Bush, and now Franchise nice run left side. It's Reggie Tackle. Bush Tackle. picking up a first down, giving 19 on the play. Little read option right there. You don't see too many read options this year. I know out of the Seattle bunch, there's a good one, but you don't see a lot of those read options from an offset formation. Franchise going to that. Franchise got to stick to his game, which is running the ball. You know, when he gets in those passing situations, it does get tough for him. So I'd like to see him go back to this read option. Maybe even go back to that screen we saw earlier. A couple of those things mixed in. And up Sanders left side. Trying is he to get just going to flip inside zone, zone every play? Working. Come on. We love that. We love that. Two time we club runner up. So franchise terrified. that he's looking. He doesn't want to be the bridesmaid anymore. He wants we to be need the bride. All of this. Yeah, you know, to make it to the club finals three times is very difficult to do. He's been a finalist three years in a row. He lost in the final four one year, a different club each year. So he, I know he's he's from the New York area, so I think this would be mean a lot to him to be able to represent the Jets, but down 14 nothing early. Enough to Bush, and once again, 
like Novocaine. Give it time. It'll always work. That inside zone, picking up another three. Yeah, manageable third and three here. Franchise really, the whole playbook's open. Might go back to a read option inside zone. You see him just flipping around all these formations. It's hard if you're on defense. It's hard to really expect what's ha what's coming. Gonna go to a trio offset formation. Look for an RPO bubble. Reggie Bush on the right hip of Dante Culpepper. Tyler Lockett motioned over to the left side. It will be a handoff to Bush. Come here, Great franchise. Catch once again, Taylor Mays making plays. 14 nothing after one. Franchise just continuing to go to those read options and inside zones. Ice is ready for it, and already we're only we're, we're starting the second quarter, but we're already in a huge play. Fourth and two. If Franchise doesn't convert this, he's going to be in a big deficit that's difficult to come back from. I want to know what ice is humming. I can't tell what it is. It sounded like it might have been Christmas carols. Might be getting into the Christmas spirit already. It's already been handed a gift. Woo! The other way, timeout taken. Like, like Franchise didn't like what he saw on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, Franchise looks, he looks a little uh, undecisive, indecisive when it comes to offense. You see him just flipping around these formations. He's calling timeouts. He doesn't look too confident in his offense right now. Ice has all the momentum. Now, if there's ever a key two yards in the first half of a game, this is it. Franchise looking to keep pace with the two-time Jets Club champion. Fourth down at two. And then drop back to pass with Culpepper. He's in trouble. Down goes Culpepper. Thomas with the sack. Ice with the second stop of the game. Defense, defense, and more defense. Ice coming up clutch with a big defensive stand. And, you know, Nick, I might need to recheck my sources because I heard all these rumors, all these things through the grapevine that Franchise had some glitchy things cooked up on offense. And so far... It's been all ice. Come on. Hand off to Bush up the middle. TD, when we talked with Ice, he said this club is about one thing, one word, respect. He feels disrespected in the community. He feels disrespected by other Madden players. He wants to prove he's a top player in the game. 1,000% he wanted his get back. He feels like this is his club. He feels like the Jets is what he runs. And he's looking to go for the three-time championship in the Jets club, up 14 nothing. And if you're ice here, you just want to use some of this clock. Even if you've got to kick three, you see him going down to this weak twins, look for a halfback dive. I'm just worried, like, if Franchise gets too excited, he's going to bump into his dresser. He's, he is, that chair is tight to the furniture in his room. As Reggie Bush up the middle picks up five. Yeah, and Franchise wanted to shout out his wife, Isabella, who's watching at home, always supports him as well. Second and five here. If you're ice, I'd expect him to go back to the ground game. You know, you look good so far on those dives. I think he's going to go down to that weak twins, maybe a little eye, eye form close dive. We'll go to the eye form. Two wide receivers, McLaurin on the left. Give it to Reggie Bush up the middle, maybe a yard. Third and four. Little halfback dive again. Ice, you see him just taking his time, very patient, using this clock. Uh, you know, I, I expect him to pass here and stay in the bunch, but I would see, I would expect him to hike it under five seconds on the play clock around that and look for maybe double post out of gun bunch. Third and four. So far here in the clubs through three days, TNC 2 and 0. Oh, as a crew looking to get to 3 and 0. Oh. As that oh, one's no, not going to be, be so inbounds. Ice is going to take a field goal. We got, well, we got two TNC members playing today. We got Blocky playing later tonight in the Dolphins Club. Yeah, Ooh, you know, you see, we got a lot of EMP, have, a lot of TNC in these club championships. Not a bad drive by Ice right there. You took some time off the clock. You go up three possessions. He had a high low read right there to the right side. Kind of a, a law pass, so it was kind of a bad throw, but. That, that, that was a, a big drive by Ice, go up three possessions. But now if you're franchise, you're down three possessions. This is the drive you have to get points. If you don't get points on this drive, it's most likely GG's. So for franchise GG, got to go down the field and at least get a field goal to keep yourself alive. Dante Culpepper. I love that, that little smoke screen to the left side. First time it went for about 40, this time only nine. The only way he can second complete and one. a pass is if he makes my guy just 
my corner of the blitz. Only, only two completions so far for franchise, and they've both been on that smoke screen play. And you hear Ice saying he's doing something to get his cornerback to blitz on that play. So I don't know why franchise doesn't go to that a little bit more because he's had success with that. See what he does here on second and one. There's an RPO once again. It's Reggie Bush picking up the first down inside the 40 yard line. Uh oh. We're, we're getting real. The glasses are off, TD. It's all real now. Down 17 nothing. Franchise is locked in. The gaming gla goggles are off. Franchise locked in. Read option again. Back to push. All right, maybe. Hey, maybe the goggles were the problem. That was a nice run. Pick it up 13. <laughs> nice little chunk play right there. Read option again. Ice is feeling it, though. You can tell all the momentum's on his side. He's bobbing back and forth. Two minute warning now. But franchise with a good drive support, you need some more chunk plays just like that read option. Nonetheless, franchise will get the ball to start the second half. So a touchdown on this drive is crucial. Back to the ground game. Reggie Bush picks up five. You know, Curious what Nick the chat thinks, by the way. I want to know what they remember Reggie Bush as. Is he a saint, a lion? Definitely a scene. Definitely a scene. Oh, there's that smoke screen. It's out to Terry McLaurin. Lower in the shoulder, breaking a tackle, picking up 10. Oh, we might be seeing more guys running this in weekend league if franchise keeps having success with it. Yeah, so you see what's happening. When he runs that smoke screen to the left side, his the cornerback that's covering him blitzes in. He like runs in to leave him completely wide open out there. So Franchise had a lot of success with that and he goes back to the ground game. So Franchise has looked phenomenal on this drive, mixing in the read options along with that screen and he's back in business. If you're Franchise, you need to get seven. Hey, you gotta think, TD, if Franchise were to drop an ideal drive, this is how it would go. He's been dominant running the ball. He's been ahead of the game the in play calling. That's the first play we've seen go backwards on this drive. Yeah, you know, Nick, and we need our stats guru, Donnie, more for this because I feel like Franchise has is, is, is run so many unique plays. Like, out of anyone we've seen, he's in a different formation every single play. Pretty cool stuff to see. And off to Bush, cuts it upfield. He's got room inside the 10, inside the 5, down to the 2-yard line. 18 yards for Franchise. 25 seconds and counting the first half. Great play calling on this drive by Franchise. You see we got a read option to the left. We've got a read option to the right, an inside zone back left. We even saw a counter, a couple screens. So he's really mixing up his play calling well. And now he's got, I believe, one timeout left here, and he's on the two-yard line. So this is tricky. you got to be very careful here because you can you can run the ball one play, but then if you get tackled, you got to burn that timeout, and then it gets very scary. Talking about how important this drive on, is for baby. Franchise. On, how big would it be right now for Ice if he's able to hold Franchise to a field goal? Yeah, this would okay, be so big. Around, this would be no, big. No, Either way, if you're Franchise, though, you cannot make a mistake and get no points out of this. You have to get points. You're getting the ball at half. I'm here. Oh, what I'm a here, catch. shoot. Ronnie Lott through the gap. Big tackle for Ice. Second down. Clock under 10 seconds. Looking for Your the RPO bottle screen is picked Terrible. off! And down goes, it's Jackson with there. the ball! He's Come down on. to the 42 yard Awful. line, a pick inside the five! The one thing I said Franchise couldn't do, and he does it. He turns the ball over inside the five yard line. You needed points on that drive to keep yourself that, in the game. And Ice, he just tries to throw a quick motion out, bubbles to the outside, Ice all over. Just a bad read. Franchise was just in a rush, and he made a bad decision, and now Ice going to go up three possessions at half. Paul Pepper, first and ten. Stepping up, corner ah, route. Oh, Ice six. gave it back, though. Yeah, Franchise cool. with the pick. Zeros on Fine, the clock, and at halftime, it is Long. all Ice. 17 nothing. Franchise will get the ball to start the second half. Just a costly mistake, Nick, by Franchise. And inside the five-yard line, you needed points. Even if you have to settle for a field goal to go down two possessions, you cannot turn the ball over. Oh, what's up? That, that could come back to cost him right, as we get down into the second half. And you can see just the difference 
in facial expressions, ice looking confident, franchise looking a little defeated right now. Halftime here in the Jets Club Championship Final, 17 to nothing. Ice looking to become a three-time New York Jets Club Champion. The winner of this game not only will pocket $5,000 and a spot in January's club championship, they'll also take home this Jets helmet. Nice piece to add to the mantle. Beautiful helmet from the New York Jets. A talking point for, uh, I'm sure, whoever wins this one. TD, this first half, Everything went ice's way. Two interceptions, able to score on every drive. What does franchise need to do to get back in this ball game? Yeah, man, that was a big momentum shift. Your franchise, it's hard to come back from that, but it's still you're still alive. You're getting the ball to start the second half, which is huge. So you're gonna have a chance. You gotta go down again and get points. You know, get into that red zone before half really hurts, though. If you're ice up 17 at half. If you get a stop here, if you're ice, it's pretty much game over. So this drive coming up to start the second half is huge for both guys. How impressed have you been by Ice's ability to adjust to what has been an incredibly unique offense run by franchise? Yeah, you know, you don't expect that to come, you know, come in. I mean, I don't think Ice knew this stuff was coming. Like I said, franchise is in a different formation every single play. He's running inside zones to the left, smoke screens to the left, uh, read options. So it's a very difficult offense. But the one thing that we've talked about a million times is franchise does struggle and needs to pass. So every time franchise has been in a passing situation, Ice has taken advantage, and that's why he's up for the possession. Well, this ball game far from over, but ice in great position. Franchise starting off with the ball first, down 17 nothing, needing points. First down at 10, it is Culpepper. He'll hand this off to Bush, who breaks a tackle and then is finally tackled and then lifted off the ground. Six yards on second and four. He went back to that screen, but it looked like Ice made a little adjustment. His corner did not rush in on that screen play. So maybe Ice has figured out how to defend that. Franchise going back to a little RPO action. What the, the first hell time, are you doing, Franchise? It's Dante Culper taking Dante Culpepper taking the carry for Franchise, picking up two, third down and two for Franchise. Yeah, a little RPO, keeps it with Culpepper. You know, he does have Mike Vick as his backup quarterback. You might want to see him sub in Vick for that type of situation. Culpepper's not an ideal guy to run uh, with a lot of space. So kind of interesting here. play calling. Here, right here, guys. Come on, buddy. Are we sure that, uh, that Ice doesn't have the entire franchise game plan in front of him? Because he is reading every play like a book. Yeah, I think he's expecting these inside zones now, left and right. He's made some adjustments, and here we go. Franchise, like we said, he, he struggles when he needs to pass. Fourth and six, you're on your own 30. He's got to cook something up to keep his season alive, to keep his Jets club championship hopes alive. Cole Pepper on fourth and six. He's got the corner out left side. Doesn't see it. Look at the post route. Could have been picked. Doesn't matter. Turnover on downs. Either way, Ice with his third stop of the game. Franchise, he's inside a box. Yeah, this is a body bag now. He's locked inside the box. The cage is shut tight. The lock is on. And Ice is just looking phenomenal on defense. I mean, franchise with just some bad reads. It's plain and simple. You know, you can't make that type of read over the middle. Two guys right there. It could have been a third pick. And for for Ice, you know, it was probably better to drop it. You're in great field position. A toss play to Bush. Great defense there from franchise. Able to tackle for a loss on this play. If you're franchise, the goal here has got to be nice. holding the three. Or get a turnover. Ooh. Turnover ideally, but at three, Sweaty. at least you stay within three scores. Very. Yeah, very and scary. you hear Ice saying, this is nice. You know, Ice knows he's in control now. These might, You might just see three runs here. Get this down under two minutes to go in the third. <laughs> Take your three because, honestly, franchise can't move the ball on offense, so Ice feels completely confident in his defense. That looked like a run commit. As Ice last year lost to AKG in the Jets club semifinals. Talking to him, he said, I wasn't that locked in. I was a little overconfident coming into uh, the clubs. I was just going through the motions, TD. He said, this year, it's all business. It's the best he has ever felt playing the game of Madden. All business. And you could tell by the tone of his voice, Nick, he was, he was motivated. He was frustrated from last year. He feels like this is his club, like we said. 
and he's about to go up 20 to nothing. Just a dominant performance. You know, he hasn't looked great on offense, but he hasn't needed to because of how effective his defense has been. He's always had good field position. So from here on out, if you're ice, you just okay. want to use that clock. Kind of reminds me of... Seth's got a whole lot of his uh, what was it when uh, the Dolphins played uh, the Jets? No, it would have been. It was whatever Tua's first game was a couple weeks ago. Like Tua ended up being like he only threw for a hundred yards, and I was like, well, Tua didn't look that good. Well, the Miami defense forced like four turnovers and didn't make him do anything. Oh, it's very similar to what I It's been all defense. There's been no need for the offense to do anything. Yeah, definitely. I believe that was the Rams game. He didn't have to do much. Yeah. You know, it was his first start, so people, Desperate. you know, they were kind of disappointed in him. They thought, oh, wow, we thought we were going to see more from Tua, but he didn't need to do much. And that's exactly to your point, Nick, what we're seeing from Ice. You know, he's had a couple dots here and there, but it's really just been his defense. He just wants to sit back, force Franchise to get in passing situations, and when he does, he's taking advantage. I ain't going to lie. I got no clue. Oh, this is a run. This is a run with his quarterback. I mean, Dang, man, it's almost like you just can't run a gadget play every play this year. It's like he's seen this movie eight times. How does he know, like, what he franchise is running score. before he even snaps the ball? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't know what to say. You see him subbing in that Vic, but, I mean, this is just rough right now for franchise. It really is. I mean, it, he just can't get anything going. He's he's thinking, he's digging deep, trying to find something. He's subbing in his backup quarterback. He's doing anything he can, but... Ice just has him in a complete cage. Cole Pepper on third and three. Stepping left. He's got time. Does he have oh a receiver? Oh my God, That's dear okay. Lord. What was that? It's DRC. What was that? Touchdown pass perhaps. Rogers Cromarty into the end zone. What Put your that? floaties on. We got ourselves a flood. Franchise GG, GG's in the chat. It is over ice with a dominant Three time. performance Three time on defense. Time. I mean, Franchise should have thrown four picks. He's lucky the other one wasn't picked. Another pick, and this one goes for six again. 27 to nothing. Ice came out to dominate. It's interesting, Ty, when we talked with uh, Ice's crewmate, when we, when we talked with Free the Penguins, we asked him what it was like being in TNC as we we take a look at this pick six one more time, the crossbody throw picked off by DRC. Penguins said they feel like they're ahead of the game. That's their, they rely on their preparation. And oh. you're seeing it today Inside from Ice, zone. The score is knowing what plays it's are coming, knowing how to defend minutes. what has been a very varied offense. It quit. steps to the, it says to the preparation of TNC coming into these games. The preparation, the lab work. I mean, we saw it with Decroft last week with that strip specialist on your user. That is a huge thing people are doing now. Uh, Ice oh, was no. talking about that the other night, saying they're ahead of the oh, curve, no. finding these type of little glitches in the game, little oh, things no. that are effective. And man, when you come out, I, I mean, I franchise is three for eight, this is three great. picks, 27 nothing. Ah, just this is domination at its finest. You, you know, TD, and it, it, it now. I starts to look forward, and he did say when we talked to him, listen, I want to do better in the actual clubs. I've won this club twice. I'm looking to win it three times, but I've never done anything once I've got there. You know, this is as easy as it gets for a game, as he just said. You heard him saying, I only had to complete one pass. I didn't really have to do a whole lot. What do you see as Ice's prospects going into the final 32? Is this somebody who can make a run out of the AFC East? I definitely believe so. Like you said, you know, those two years he was the Jets Club champion. He lost in the Final 32, so he hasn't had a ton of success when he does reach the Final 32. But uh, looking at this AFC East, I think he can make a run this year. I like his game. I think he's had a good start to the year. We talked about earlier, you know, he's made some runs in these online tournaments we've seen. Uh, the game kind of suits his style, you know. The gun bunch is effective. He's solid on defense. So I definitely think Ice can make some noise when we head into January. He ran. Nice run on fourth and one for Franchise to pick up a first down. Is he down. laughing? You hear Ice saying, is he labbing mid-game? And if you're Ice at this point, like, you're cool with giving that up because that forces Franchise a new set of downs to use all this clock. T. Davis, I know you could hear me. I told you, if he doesn't show up and catch me off guard with a gimmick, he has no chance. <laughs> I hear you, Ice. Your response. I hear you, Ice. You told us. You laid it down for us in the in the pregame meeting. So, ah, there's the pass. D 
DK Metcalf to the 25-yard line. I think that's the first time we've had a, a commentator <laughs> asked a question by a player mid-game. Mid-conversation. Mid-conversation. That's a lot of fun. That just shows how dominant Ice has been. You know, he's he's having a little chat with me about his... about his. But, like, honestly, exactly what I said is what's panned out. If he wasn't caught off guard, he was going to be successful, and it's exactly what happened. The one thing that kind of caught him off guard was that wide receiver screen, but besides that, I mean... Everything has been has been bagged and just exactly what he thought was gonna happen happened. Second and twenty one is he call calling back. the same play? Oh no. In trouble again. I'll throw this one away. Just take knees. Franchise, there's no reason for you to be in a twenty seven zero game unless you're gonna do something with like one second left on the clock. You know, Turbo Jeff earlier. What, last week, he became a three-time Broncos club champion. Now oh, no. Ice looking to become the next person. He's a three-time champion with the same club. Come here. Third and 21. Good Might defense. Might want to kiss. Does look like Franchise is going to break up the shot out. <laughs> franchise just listening to what Ice has to say. 27 to 3. I mean, if you're Franchise at this point, might as well just go for some onside kicks. He is up. It is yes, good. Man. We needed this, though. The oh, shutout so is broken. So much time. So much effort. I'm getting crushed by my buddy Ice. You know, I, I know I've been getting a lot of hate lately on social and everything. And, you know, if I won this game, I was going to give a, you know, a pretty good speech. You know, because, you know, you know, right now at this time. I only have 82 total yards. That's sick. Like a, that's that's an amazing. Apology. I've had to call one real play the entire I'd game. I'd like to make an apology for absolutely nobody. Sight. Have a good day, everybody. Did we just get hit with a Conor McGregor? <laughs> Did we just get hit with a Conor McGregor? Uh, Nick, I'm trying to hold in my laughter. <laughs> my emotion but you know I, I don't even know what to say well uh td i think i'm done i think oh, uh, this is where i retire you can handle the rest of the show i'm just gonna go <laughs> <laughs> well youtube star in the making franchise that's gonna be clipped for a while huh yeah no doubt about that i think social media will have a lot right, to say about this game but rounds. You know, bottom line here, don't care about ice. It is very difficult, Nick, to, to even win one club, one year. To, to come back and win it three times. Oh, I found the one. Just, I'm the best. That just says a lot about ice, his preparation, his mentality, and how he keeps coming back uh, to, to really run this club. I mean, even last year, you know, you, you still made the Final Four of the Jets club, and now you're a three-time champion, just a dominant performance. And congratulations yes. to the young man. <sighs> you see the fist pump from ice. He knows he's got this one in the bag. No, I put my mic up to my mouth now because I'm having a conversation. What's up, Twitch chat? I hope you guys got some good entertainment today. Dominant win from Ice, 27 to 3. Shout out to all the and Twitch streamers, Dubby, Problem Right, CC, for giving me a platform. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I love all of you. I love all of my... TNC will move Did I really to only complete one pass? Three and oh. might be a god. Move to 3-0 and oh on the uh, year so far with Blocky coming up later. And you see Ice. The hard work has paid off Tyler Davis. He is now a three-time New York Jets club champion as it is all GG's in the chat. Yeah, you see the elation on Ice's face. You gotta feel happy for him. I know how excited, I know how badly he wanted this. Like we said, Nick, in that meeting, you could tell the tone of his voice. Like he was hungry, he was ready. He came out and he absolutely dominated. He deserves this victory. And like I said, I'm looking for big things from Ice in that final 32 because the last two times he was in that spot, he did not make a lot of noise. So this could be his year where he makes a run. Just impressive all the way around offense and defense. Let's go, baby! We 
The fist pump from the three-time champ. Ice with an absolutely dominant win in the Jets Club Championship. 27 to 3 TD. His offense didn't have to do a whole lot. It was his defense forcing turnovers and making plays. Only, only allowed three completions. He had three interceptions, two pick sixes. Just domination at its finest, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And a round of applause. Good sportsmanship from franchise. Listen, it, this was a game, TD. It was Ice's game the entire way. I'm not sure that franchise, if you play this game 100 times, he can come out with a win with that same game plan. It just seemed like Ice knew exactly what was coming. Yeah, he did. You know, for franchise, you feel for him because this is his third time as in a finals of a club and he still can't get over that hump. And it's been his offense that really holds him back. You saw it today. Three completions, three interceptions, two pick sixes. That's just never going to get it done in the club championship. And Ice, just just some of the best defense. You could tell his preparation was through the roof. And just congratulations to the young man. Well, let's bring in the now three-time New York Jets club champion. Don't care about Ice. Ice, congratulations. When we talked to you earlier this week, you said this was all about respect. It was about getting respect on your name. You are now a three-time Jets club champion. How does it feel not only being a three-time champ, but doing it the way you did? Uh, it feels great. Uh, I felt last year I was a little too too relaxed. This year I, I had a chip on my shoulder. I really wanted to win. And I really wanted to send a message because I felt like I've been getting a lot of dirt thrown on my name. And hopefully I can just carry this momentum into – Hopefully a really good finish. Hopefully the belt, that 150K, that's what it's all about, baby. Congrats, Ice. <sighs> Impressive performance. Talk us through defense. Did you did you expect Franchise to kind of run this, you know, bubblegum read option stuff? I know the screen yeah. probably caught you off guard to start, but just talk about how good you looked on defense. He caught me off guard with it the first couple times because I didn't know. I only knew about it in one other formation, but I knew about, like, the concept of it. So I knew it was going to be hard for him to score if I took away, like, his main thing. And then I really didn't have to do much on offense. I think I threw, I passed like three times and I only completed one pass. Like my first pass was a 60 yard bomb. I scored. And then he just started giving the game away. So that was really, that was really nice. Like I didn't have any pressure on me after the first quarter. My defense showed up to the game and they showed up to play today. So really happy for that extra 5K. Hey, 5K is nice any day of the week. Ice, congratulations. We've got a special message from a very special New York Jets on your win. Oh, Hey, George, former New York Jets center Nick Mangold here. Congratulations on becoming our Madden Challenge 21 New York Jets champion. As the Madden 21 League Championship nears, take care of business and good luck out there on the big stage. We are excited to watch you compete. Bring that trophy home. Go Jets. Go Jets. Big shout out to Nick Mangled, former Buckeye as well. Have to mention that one. Also, I'm actually an I should Ohio be getting State this fan. New York. Yeah, heck yeah. And Ooh. you also get this New York Jets helmet to add. How crispy are those Jets helmets? That is beautiful. That is a fine piece of artwork right there. Well, and not only that, you're going to hopefully be looking to add another piece of hardware in January at the club championships. Ice, congratulations. You're three-time champ. We will see you in January at the club championships. Folks, we are halfway through our AFC.